Hello, and this week we're talking about procrastination. Yeah, behind me I've been procrastinating on working on a very beautiful hand applique butterfly quilt, and I'll show you a few shots at the end. So on the audio podcast, I weekly talk about a topic and the things I've been working on. And this week I have been avoiding work, including housework, including customer quilts, for many reasons. And I really had to think long about why it was that way. Um, number one, I was kind of uh, overwhelmed and I experienced something that I've experienced when I was younger. It's not stage fright. It's this expectation upon myself that I should be getting better and better and working more and more on these complicated and very high expectation quilting stitches. I free motion quilt on my long arm and sometimes, you know, it's not perfect. Mm. Perfection and too much expectation on myself. So what did I work on instead? Let me show you. I have a Cricut machine and I really wanted to work on these chalkboard blanks from Michaels. And somebody at work wanted a gather sign. And I bought the font and loved it so much that for Thanksgiving, I cut out a little leaf and the gather font, which I purchased online at the Silhouette Studio. But I also subscribe to Cricut Design Studio. And here's another um, attempt attempt because I'm not real satisfied with the size of this key. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, but these are things because I subscribe to the monthly Cricut Design Studio. I can just hop on my Cricut, tell the dimensions, and then cut it out. This is vinyl, and I stuck it on, and it was almost instant gratification. Now let me show you something else that I've been working on. Let me grab that. So I bought some craft text fabric and what is cool is that it is actually paper. It looks like leather. Look at that. It feels like leather. It sews like leather. And this little clutch is the perfect size for my cell phone. I didn't know, I'm going to do some more decorating on it. I did some top stitching, I did some raw edge seaming. So I bought some snaps. I thought that would look good on my wallet or clutch, but it's a tool. So I'm going to have to get some help and you can see it's $20 at Hobby Lobby. I paid less because I used a coupon of course. and. There's directions in the back. Hopefully YouTube videos might help. And I'm going to, I really like these plastic snaps and they come in lots of different colors. But I like the gray. And the other thing I want to work on this week is the church lady apron. And I thought instead of Velcro or buttons right here, I want to do a snap. So here is a couple different options. I like the straight slash pocket one. I don't know that I want to do two. We'll see because my garment sewing sometimes is something to be desired. So those are the things that I've been working on instead of working on jobs like the customer quilt, instead of doing all of the fly lady cleaning system on my house. But sometimes you just need a little bit of a break. And I will show a picture at the end. I have been out to two dinner parties. And one of the dinner parties, we made Christmas wreaths. Wow, that was so much fun. She cut fresh pine boughs off of her property. And we wired them on the base. She had a plethora of add-ins. And I put eucalyptus and crystal branches. It's outside. It's very cold here. Um, it might warm up to be 40 this week, but it's been in the 20s and 30s, so I think the wreath will be fresh and it will last through the new year. So, so much fun procrastinating, avoiding the adulting things. I have to say, I've even been a minute or two late for work because I got so busy doing all the fun things. And it's way more fun than working. It's way more fun than doing dishes. However, I do 
really, really do. Um, like this quilt behind me, you can see it's butterflies. And um, this is my long arming studio, which is the end of my bedroom. And sometimes you just get a block and procrastinating can be okay, but it's not okay when it's putting you behind and you're not doing the things that you need to do. So I am really pushing the reset button today, which is Sunday, which is starting out my new week, 15 minutes a day on projects. I think I can do 15 minutes a day on my crafting things, 15 minutes a day to work on my long arming things and 15 minutes a day sewing. And then I'll have more than 15 minutes in the evening before I go to bed to work on handwork. That's how I really set my day up as I go to work, you know, eight to five. And then I also am trying to add in snippets of stretching and exercise. And I go to the gym right now. It's only once a week. I'm going to try to add twice a week, work on getting more healthy and in shape and more about my blood work and feeling good. So overall, that's what I've been working on. Now, if you want to hear the full expanded podcast, it's my Creative Corner 3 with the number 3 at the end on Podbean. Or you can go to my website, mycreativecorner3.wordpress.com. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Head over to my blog. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're working on. I'm really kind of nervous about the church lady because that apron, you know, I don't sew garments well. And I think I'm going to read through the pattern two or three times trace it out on a paper and maybe next week I will be wearing a church lady apron to show you success or it may be wadded up in a bag for failure. <laughs> we'll see. Not everything ends in a huge round of success, but maybe if I do a couple of these, um, maybe they will make gifts for people at Christmas. We'll find out. Everyone have a great week. Be creative and quilt on everyone. A little bit of a all over free motion quilting. This is not my quilt, by the way, it's a customer quilt. And you can see that she hand applied it and did a fantastic job. Tried to do a couple little butterflies and flowers. Let's look all the way to the end. It's about a twin size. <laughs>